wrapping Christmas gifts. In particular, I am wrapping my mom's gifts for her. So, um, I got this wrapping paper from, let's see, you guys. I got this great free wrapping paper from TJ Maxx. Um, it was free 99 My mom and Landon are making cookies in the background, so if you hear them, that's them. Um, it was 30 square feet. Well, so it's not that much wrapping paper, but whatever. It's really pretty. Um, and the first thing I'm wrapping up is the calendar for my mom. So I thought I would do a wrap presents with me video. I've already wrapped most of my Christmas gifts this year so far just because my boys um, are reckless and they're finding all their gifts. So I had to go ahead and start wrapping all their gifts early. Um, I have a huge bin outside in the garage stuffed of Christmas presents. And then I have But, yeah, so I'm wrapping my mom's gifts now for her. You do know I'm going to see this big of what it just said, right? I was whisper whispering about Santa. Oh, Santa. So, um, I'm just going to wrap this one up pretty quickly, but I'm going to show you guys my little technique on how I wrap gifts. Um, so I feel like it's kind of helpful, and it just makes it look like a nice, clean gift. But this one is a pretty large gift, so... Let me just wrap it up. What is it? Is the book you have a book you can give your kids? Okay. Yeah. I love you. I wanted to wrap a gift. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's take off the price tag first. Make sure you take off the price tags on whatever you buy people. My mom is uh, the queen of leaving her tags on. You want to return? <laughs> Cameron does it too. Like he leaves tags on um, everything. Jackson, do you mind? Do you know what for Christmas? What? Do you know what you want for Christmas from Cameron? Me? Um. So for Christmas, I actually asked Cameron for a ring. Um, not anything crazy. It's actually a ring from the Vampire Diaries. Oh, Lord. It's like a replica ring of Elena's ring. It's... Wow! And, wow. How, and okay. how old are you? I'm going to be 26. And it's, it's a beautiful ring, though, Mom. You'll have to see it. I'm 99% sure Cameron did buy it for me because I sent him a commission, a commission link for it, and I saw that it was purchased. So, I asked for that. What else did I ask for? I asked for my Cricut machine, but he got me that for my birthday. The heat press. Um, yeah. I don't really want anything else. Really? No, do you look for that? I want a Louis, but I know I'm not going to get it. Hey, you never know, girl. No, I know. But Trust every me. Every year. I know my finances. <laughs> So let me show you guys how I wrap. I'm gonna wrap two gifts in one time, like one swipe, basically. So I have two boxes that need to be wrapped. So I'm going to, let me actually show you guys. So I have two, so I have two boxes I'm gonna wrap in one swipe. So I'm going to, Thankfully, these are actually like about the same size, so it's easy to do. So I know the sides will get covered. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Yeah, just a little bit. So it should be good on both sides. Um, and then I'm just gonna take this and bring it all the way until it touch. I'm the worst. Until it touches, and then I'm gonna cut on this end. This box has an open end on this side and then a closed end on this side. I'm gonna make this my back just to make it easier when I'm comes to like folding the sides and everything. Um, if that makes any sense. So. Always make sure the back 
has the, the seam tape and then it's really easy just to fold down and like make, just fold down and make a crease. Same thing on the side, fold down and make a crease. Um, just do that on both sides. Now it just looks like really, really clean. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. The other side has the opening, so to the best of my abilities. day two of wrapping gifts with me. Um, I started a couple days ago. I already pretty much wrapped all of my gifts. Um, I was kind of wrapping them as I got them just because my boys just find everything. So I started doing that and then I had a few more gifts to wrap a couple days ago so I wrapped them. I wrapped some for my mom um, and I have more gifts to wrap um, and I need to wrap them. My boys are napping so I was like let me just finish wrapping and finish filming and then the video I'll post will just be both parts. Um, so yeah, another day, you know, makeup. But I have my blue light blacking glasses. I actually just got these in the mail today. Um, it was a two set. I paid five dollars. Um, my friend posted about them, um, and I used her code to get them um, or her link. Um, and yeah, so these are really cute. I paid five dollars for a set of two. So these ones are like the tur uh, tortoise or leopard, whatever. Um, and then I have a pair of black ones, and I paid five dollars. Like they were on sale with the code, um, and they're so cute. I love them. So we're gonna wear them. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of gifts that I have to wrap. Um, I have some for my mom that she wants me to wrap, and then I have actually these are pretty much all from my mom, um, or for my mom to, to wrap for my mom. So my mom got this potato head a while ago. Landon opened it up and. I'm putting them all back in here. I'm gonna kid them, but he still had a few random ones kind of around the house. So this is actually a really cute set for a kid. Um, if they like Toy Story or like Potato Heads or whatever, um, this is really really cute. My mother-in-law got Asher some of these books. He really likes um, like the Touch and Feel books. Super cute, so I'm gonna wrap those for her. Um, and then my mom also got this for boys, um, the Fisher Price School. Um, it's for both of them, but more so Asher, I believe. Let's start with the books. I'm gonna wrap each of these books individually. Let me push you back so maybe you can see me and cool. Uh, I'm gonna wrap all the books individually just so he has like more individual um, presents, I guess. I feel like. Whenever people say, like, oh, I don't know what to get the kids, I'm like, books, books, books. I love when they read. I love when they interact with books. Um, I prefer them playing with the book compared to, like, a tablet or something. It's not really wrong. My kids have tablets. Um, but um, if I can have them not get a tablet, I'm not for it. This one's a dinosaur book. How cute is this? So cute. You know what I didn't do while my mom was here? It was go to the 
um, thrift store alone. I've been waiting on clothes with the good things, and I haven't done. Um, but, alright. I've been busy with work, so. And cleaning. Lots of cleaning. I got this like brown paper bag type wrapping paper this year and I feel like my tape, no matter what tape I'm using, just has a hard time like sticking to it. Note to self, get the shiny wrap. And the boys are gonna be Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this wrapping paper this year. I feel like the tape just doesn't want to stick to it. And it's not the tape because I've tried different tapes and all my tape is taken in. So tell me, are you guys tight to wrap gifts like the day before Christmas? Do you guys wrap gifts like all at once or slowly? Like what's the case for you guys? Because um, I typically like to go slowly. Um, but Landon was finding his gifts and, um, I typically like to, like, do most of my gifts all at once, but I had to, like, kind of rush my present in wrapping. Um, he's just finding all his gifts, you guys. Like, he's crazy. And when he sees a toy, like, he gets really excited. Um, so I kind of, like, we start letting him have gifts and I'm like, now he's not going to have like any gifts for Christmas, but now when they're wrapped, he's... I also... Um, another question. Do you guys put all your presents under the tree the day before, um, like on Christmas Eve? Or do you guys put them like gradually, like as like you're um, wrapping them? Okay. Like putting presents under the tree, like as I... like wrap them I feel just because I feel like I just love seeing like so many presents under the tree um it makes me like just so excited so. um but I said that that he's never tried the almond m and these are my absolute favorite m and like me and him both love pita m and um but I think this for me I like it better so this is one of my stepdad's Christmas gifts for myself. Um, I thought he would get a kick out of it. Um, I love gifting people like just silly things too. Um, just because how much of the same thing do you really need? You know? like, how many sweaters do you need? Or sneakers? Or... I think the silly gifts are fun. And stuff like, like I know he'll eat it, so... This is actually the super dropping gift for last year. Um, and this year is actually Santa's dropping um, for the family. Um, so I wrapped all Santa's presents already. And I used my little, um, what's the word called? Sack that I bought from um, Hobby Lobby. And so I put all Santa's gifts in the sack. And I had to wrap a few that didn't fit in the sack. Um, but Santa only brought the boys two gifts each. Um, so.
had one more book. Oh. a wild guess that after I woke up from his nap, my mom was running up the stairs. How cute is this one? This one's a noisy truck. like a little just plain black shirt from Target and then I got him these little pants from Target and him. so cute they're all matchy matchy um I take the tags off to look easier so cute all look like this
Also, a little tip that I have is I usually write number uh, number one next to it if it's something that they need to open up on Christmas Eve. I've done that with all my gifts so far that were opening up on Christmas Eve, it's just so I don't get confused when it comes to Christmas, like shaking it, like picking up who's this Um, so. Oh no, this is my mom bought my stuff as a sneakers. So, got that goes. I don't know why I want to tell you guys this, but I used to work for um, JC Penny. I actually worked in like, the fine jewelry department. Um, it was weird. So I remember when I lived in New Mexico for a little bit, when I was um, in DMT in tech school, I lived with my mom in New Mexico. Um, and this was like four years ago. And I worked at JC Penny in the fine jewelry department. And I remember like when I did my training, like to get hired on, like they try to see where they're gonna put me and stuff. And I ended up getting hired for the five jewelry. And I remember like it's like around this time of year, it was just so crazy all the time. And I'm honestly so glad I'm not working at retail again. Um it was weird, if you guys don't know, I actually went to school with fashion merchandising and retail marketing. And I actually thought like I would want to be working for like a pretty big like a pretty big uh, store or something. I quickly realized I uh, I do not, absolutely not, want to work for a store ever again. Um, I just don't like the hours. I just don't like having to work holidays. Um, so I don't know what I'm ever going to do with my life now because I don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, Turning 26 in just a couple days, literally, when Ash turns one, I turn 26. And I know I'm still young, and that's why I kind of just like put my career on a back burner because like I want to raise my kids right now. But let me tell you guys, I have no clue what I want to do with my life. And I went to college for four years. I am paying off my student loan, and it's I don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, so that's cool. Just want to share that with you guys. Because I'm definitely hitting a point in my life where I'm like, okay, what do you want to do with me? And I truly, truly don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, so yeah. Just, just, just letting you guys know in case you guys are curious. I have no idea what I want to do with my life. So. Turning 26. And, yeah. No idea. Those are all the gifts. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab Asher's birthday stuff so I can quickly wrap those. My mom actually already gave Asher his other birthday presents, but she also got him these. Um, this one is a water toy. It's actually fun for both the boys to play with. It just looks like this. And then she also got him this bowling set. Um, it just looks like this. So I'm just gonna wrap these up quickly for his birthday. I think she wants him to open up these on his actual birthday. Um, because, like I said, we already opened up the other ones. Um, and we opened up the other Christmas presents my mom gave the boys, too, which was like clothes and books. Um, and I have all their toys, so. I just had him. Like I truly feel, I truly, truly, truly feel. I feel like with Landon was up to the fast, but with Asher, holy moly. I legit feel like I just had my kid. And he's going to be one. And I think like with COVID and Karen being gone, I swear the year went by even faster. Um, which is crazy. difficult to do I will say I don't know if I'll be able to do vlogmas again um 
next year. If I do, I'll probably have to like, this is my first time ever doing it. And I think maybe next year I'll do um, Vlogmas, but maybe pre-record some videos so that way I have videos and so that way I'm not like actually posting and filming, editing and posting the same day because guys, I'm going to bed so late, <laughs> so late. Um, just to get these up for you guys, um, and I need, I don't know how I'll do it next year, but, I mean, it's been fun, so I'll definitely want to do it again, and next year our camera will be home and around, so, yeah, I think that's all I have to wrap for, at least for now, um, camera will have to wrap his gifts when he's home, and... I have to find, I know I have some other stuff. I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for wrapping gifts with me. I'm going to go ahead and clean up and go upstairs with my boys. I'm gonna probably do those crafts and finish vlogging for the rest of the day, but this video is gonna be done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you guys are liking Vlogmas. Um, let me know on other video ideas if you have any. Um, I got some on Instagram, but I appreciate them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.